Okay, so you've been trying to figure out how to grow on YouTube for months now, and you just cannot figure it out. Well, guess what? I am here to help you. As a fairly popular Gorilla Tag YouTuber, I can give you guys some really great tips that are going to definitely help you grow a lot bigger on YouTube. Okay, so instead of just saying, oh, make better thumbnails, make better titles, I'm actually going to dive a lot deeper and show you guys a lot of secrets that are definitely going to help you grow a lot bigger on YouTube. Now, if you are really into YouTube and you really want to figure out on how to actually grow bigger, I suggest that you watch this entire video through because this is definitely going to help you. So our first step is getting your videos recommended to other people on YouTube. Now in order to do this, there are a lot of things you're going to need to know. So the first step to this is making a video topic that people are going to want to watch. So if you don't understand what I'm saying, here's an example. So instead of making a video on saying, oh, here are my new Oculus controllers, instead maybe make a video like, here is how you wall climb in Gorilla Tag. So once you have the topic for your video, you're going to want to create a strong title. Now instead of saying something like, how to wall climb in Gorilla Tag, you could say something like, this is the best way to wall climb in Gorilla Tag. It just sounds a little bit more convincing and just generally better. Now once you have your title, now you want to create a very strong thumbnail. Now if you don't know what a thumbnail is, it's that little picture that shows on the front of your video. Here is something you definitely do not want to put in your thumbnails. Do not put way too many words. I like to go by the rule of one being the best amount of words to three being kind of pushing it. And you want this one to three words to be describing the entire video. So if you're doing a video on how to wall climb, you could say something in the thumbnail like best wall climbing method or just best method. Now, once you have those strong one to three words that describe the entire video, you're going to want to find pictures describing the entire video. Now, if you're going to do a video on wall climbing, you're going to want to get a backdrop of maybe some of the walls back there that you would typically wall climb on. Next, you can do your character doing some position or like stretching out forward while they're doing the wall climb and maybe even add an arrow in there signifying that you're going up the wall. You just do not want to put too much stuff in your thumbnail or else it will become really cluttery. So to improve this thumbnail, now you want to make your character and the text stand out a bunch because those are the two things that really matter. So in order to make those two items stick out, you can do something like highlighting it, adding a little black line around it, or putting a drop shadow behind it, anything. Now, if you're still stuck on this thumbnail thing and you're a little bit confused, then I definitely encourage you to go look at some of my past thumbnails and it'll show some pretty good stuff and you can kind of follow that. And trust me, I used to have some pretty bad thumbnails, but they've gotten a lot better. So the next step, which is really important, is post what the viewers want to see, not what you want to post. This may sound a little bit confusing, so let me explain. So what I mean by post what the viewers want to see is post a video that you know people are going to be interested in. For example, we're in the Gorilla Tag Christmas update right now, so maybe you could do something like my past video, this is an example, the coolest secrets in Gorilla Tag Christmas update. As you can tell, that's definitely something people are going to want to see. Now, like I said earlier, don't post a video about your new controllers or something because People don't care about that yet, especially if you don't have a fan base yet. So in order to build that fan base, you want to definitely work on posting those videos that the viewers want to see. And remember, not what you want to post yet. Now, of course, once you've built a pretty big and strong fan base, sure, you can go start posting about your birthday or your new controller grips, whatever you want to post about. But I highly suggest if you're a new Gorilla Tag YouTuber, remember, I'm going to say this a lot. You have to post what the viewers want to see. So a small tip that is definitely going to help out your YouTube channel is look at what's trending in Gorilla Tag. So let's say there was a jungle map that was leaked and everyone is talking about it. When you start that video, you want to be extremely hyped and you want to tell them everything you think is going to happen along with bringing in some other ideas from other YouTubers with giving credit. By doing this and giving them more ideas and information you think is going to happen, will definitely create more hype and maybe more people are going to share that video and people are going to watch it more. So here's another thing you have to understand. When you immediately start YouTube, 
your videos are not going to blow up. You just have to keep posting consistently. There is something you have to understand though. When you start off your YouTube journey, you're not just going to blow up immediately even if you think the video is really good. You have to post consistently. When you post consistently, all the videos have to be good. They can't just be random and just boring. You have to put in as much work as possible into your videos. So here's a little secret that I can tell you that might help you understand this a little bit better. When you start off your YouTube channel and you start posting really good videos, they're probably not going to blow up immediately. But guess what? That is okay. You might start to see some of your videos go from 10 to 30 views and then 30 to 70 and then 70 to 150 maybe. And that's good. That is just little progress. And even if your videos don't do that, that is okay. Eventually, people are going to start catching on to your content. And it's just going to maybe appear somewhere or someone might even search it up. Now, once your videos are in someone's watch history, YouTube is going to start recommending your content to those people who watch your videos. Once they start to recommend them to those people who already watched your videos, that means you're going to get more views. And by getting more views, this might get YouTube to think, Oh, well, this video is doing well. Let's recommend it to a few other people. And by then, that's going to build up your views even more. Now, I know this might be a little bit hard to understand, but just trust me, it's all about the consistency. It's all about how much work you put in, and it's all about your motivation. And trust me, having motivation for YouTube is a really good thing you need to have. You definitely are going to have a few mess ups in your YouTube journey, and that is okay. You just have to try to start learning from those mistakes and stopping them. And in fact, I did the same thing. I started off my videos back in January last year. I used to have horrible thumbnails. I rarely edited my videos, and it was just bad. But then I started realizing, maybe I should edit this. And in case you guys didn't know, I got a thousand subs when I was on mobile. And that just proves that you don't need a PC. You don't need mods to get popular on Gorilla Tag. So don't let yourself down if you don't have a computer that you can edit on or get mods or this camera mod right here. I started off just with my Oculus and then I thought of a video. Hmm, maybe people are gonna wanna know on how to get out of the tutorial. So then I created a video, you know, I edited a decent amount. The thumbnail wasn't the greatest, but you know, I put some work into it and sure enough, it blew up. It got thousands of views. I got about 400 subscribers in one day and then as I kept posting my next video got like 20,000 views. It's just all about your progress now I do want to mention one more Very important thing and this is probably the most important out of everything I've said if you're not serious about YouTube and you just kind of post because just why not it's not worth it but if you're serious about YouTube and you have a growth mindset and you just have a bunch of motivation go for it and remember it's going to be very rough in the beginning. You probably won't get a lot of views, you probably won't get a lot of likes, and you probably won't get a lot of subscribers. You just have to keep posting good videos, good thumbnails, you gotta be hyping your videos, you gotta be excited. And then as you post those videos, people are gonna start to catch on and realize that you're a cool person, and then they're gonna wanna subscribe. Now, I've said this before and I just can't say it enough, it's all about your progression, your motivation, and just how much you love doing YouTube. When I started YouTube, I just had that mindset. I'm like, I will get 1,000 subs. And sure enough, here I am. I have almost 9,000 subscribers. Like, it's crazy. So if you really have that mindset where you're just striving for your goal, just keep that mindset, keep posting, and you will be so successful in the future. Just let time do its thing. And trust me, you're going to end up being really successful. I really hope this video helped you guys out. So if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I am super happy to answer any questions you guys have on just YouTube growth. And I wish all of you the best of luck on your YouTube journey. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.